Flashing hex files onto keyboards has always been a very daunting process. A brief search on the Mechanical Keyboard subreddit shows this to be a question very frequently asked. Today, I'll be doing a tutorial on how to flash your QMK-powered keyboard using QMK Toolbox in a Windows environment. Stay tuned till after the break to learn more. Welcome back. All links talked about here will be in the description section below. Before we begin this tutorial, I'm going to state a few assumptions. Number one, you're using Windows as your operating system. Number two, you have an appropriate hex file for your QMK powered keyboard. If not, check out my QMK configurator video on how to accomplish that. Number three, you know how to physically put your keyboard into reset. Let's begin. The first step is to download the appropriate drivers. Thankfully, you don't have to go out and scour the internet for them. Visit github.com slash qmk slash qmk driver installer slash releases. At the time of this video, the latest is version 1.01. .01. Always download the latest release. Download the qmk driver installer.zip and extract the contents to wherever you please. Once you've extracted it, there should be a Windows batch file called install all drivers. Double click on this file and let it finish its business. When that's done, you will have all the drivers necessary to support the QMK Toolbox for flashing. Next, download the QMK Toolbox by visiting github.com slash QMK slash QMK Toolbox slash releases. At the time of this video, the latest release is 0.0.9. .0 Once again, always download the latest release. Out of the selections provided, I would download qmktoolbox.exe. Once you've downloaded that, open it up. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be using my DZ60. In the local file section, choose the appropriate hex file. In the microcontroller section, choose the appropriate microcontroller. For a majority of QMK powered keyboards, the DZ60 included, the appropriate microcontroller is the Atmega 32U4. Please double check with your keyboard's manufacturer if you don't know. Now is the time to put your keyboard into reset. Some keyboards require pressing a button on the back for a few seconds. In the case of the DZ60, it requires holding down the spacebar and B key while inserting the USB cable. Do whatever your keyboard calls for and you should see some sort of confirmation message when successful. In my case, the message is DFU device connected at Mega 32U4. Hit the flash button and wait for it to finish. Congratulations, you've flashed your keyboard. Unplug and replug your keyboard and you are ready for business. If you have any questions about the process, feel free to jot them down in the comments below. I'll try my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time.